Hello and welcome to Music Made Simple. Lesson 20 Triplets, Duplets and Some Irregular Time Signatures Lesson 17 to 19 taught us about the general rules of time signature. However, there are some special situations in duration representation that do not generally follow the general rules. And we want to discuss a few of them today, especially on triplets, duplets, and irregular time signatures, especially those with numerators of five and seven. Kindly revisit lessons 17 to 19 to have a full understanding of time signature principles. First, let's start by discussing the triplet. Normally, undotted notes naturally divide into two parts. For instance, a quarter note will divide into two eight notes and a half note will divide into two quarter notes. Sometimes, however, such undotted notes are found with three divisions and a crochet or quarter note will divide into three eight notes and a minim or a half note will divide into three quarter notes. When three notes are used to represent an undotted note in this manner, the three notes are called triplets. The three notes are played or sung in the time of two notes. For instance, in the case of um, the crotchet, Crotchet is supposed to be two quavers. Now we put three. But you still have to perform the three in the time allocated to the one crotchet. There are techniques for doing it. By definition, a triplet is a group of three notes played or sung in the time of two. And there are two methods for writing triplets. The first method is placing the number three next to the beams that join the three notes. In the second method, the number three is placed next to the note head, either alone, with a curved line, or with a bracket. The duplet. What was done to undotted notes in triplets could be reversed for dotted notes. A dotted note normally divides into three parts, and this time it may be divided into two parts by two notes of the next smaller note value. That is, a dotted crotchet. Instead of being three quavers, will now be played as two quavers in the same time frame. And a dotted minimum, instead of being three crotchets, will be represented by two crotchets played in exactly the same time. It is notated by putting the number two on top of the two notes that are supposed to be played in place of three. So that indicates it is a duplet. An example of music with triplets is shown. You will observe that the first bar is supposed to have only one crotchet, which is two quavers. It's an anacrusis with only one beat. But because the composer of this song wants to have three syllables in the first bar, if he put two quavers there, he can only take two syllables of words. But the person wants three syllables. So the 
two quivers are turned into three quivers forming a triplet. It occurs in the first bar and in the third bar. It also goes on like that in the second staff. The performance will sound as follows. If the triplets were not there, the performance would sound as follows. But that would not be able to accommodate the three syllables. And that's why it has to be performed with triplets so that it can accommodate the three syllables. That's the way triplets are used. In similar ways, duplets are also used. Other time signatures. Most simple signatures have their numerator as two, three, or four. So two, two, three, four, 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 for simple time signatures. While most compound time signatures have their numerators as 6, 9, or 12. So 6, 8, 9, 16, 12, 8. However, sometimes rare numerators are used. This includes 5, 7, or even 1. Now let's talk about numerator 5. Sometimes the bars alternate with two bits in a bar. That's, for instance, a time signature of 2-4. Then the next bar, you make it 3-4. The next bar, you make it 2-4. The following one, you make it 3-4. So instead of changing the time signature all the time or putting double bar, double bar, 2-4, double bar, 3-4, double bar, 2-4, double bar, 3-4. Instead of doing that, the two bars are joined. So rather than 2-4, 3-4, you now make the time signature 5-4. 5-4 means there are 5 bits in the bar. Instead of having 2 bits, 3 bits, 2 bits, 3 bits, you now make it 5. Other time signatures that may be done that way are 5-2, 5-8, and 5-16. That's for numerator 5. It's also possible to have numerator 7. When you have alternating bars of 3 bits, 4 bits, 3 bits, 4 bits, for instance, 3, 4, 4, 4, followed by 3, 4, 4, 4. You add 2, 2 of the bars to make 7, 4. When the bars alternate in 3s and 4s, 2 bars may be combined to form 7. Beams in notation. Remember that beams are used on flagged notes as we learned in earlier lessons. Rather than writing the notes one by one, you can beam them together. Beams are used on flagged notes for two reasons. One, to eliminate long succession of flagged notes. And the second is to clarify the location of the beat in the measure. We have learned about the um, first one before, to eliminate long succession of flagged notes. It's also used to clarify the location of the beat in the measure. Simple time signatures notes are usually beamed together in twos, fours, and other multiples of two. So a meaning may become four quivers or eight semi-quivers, or any other combination. In compound time signatures, notes are usually beamed together in threes, sixes, or other multiples of three. So a dotted crotchet may become three quivers, or six semi-quivers. 
to beam a dotted crochet as two semiquivers followed by four semiquivers is wrong. Beaming notes at random could make it more difficult to read the music. So notes must be beamed correctly. In this lesson, we have learned about triplets, duplets, and time signatures that have numerators of five and seven. Next lesson, we are going to take a break from duration representation, and we are going to go back to representation of pitch on the staff by starting to learn about the principles of the keyboard. The keyboard is a great instrument in teaching pitch representation on the staff and some other things. That's it for today, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe by clicking the red button below the video in case you have not done so, so that you can continue to get updates of new videos as they come out. And also, if you have enjoyed this lesson, please click like. Until next time, God bless you.